Hey everybody, Omega Home plays Civilization 6 Gathering Storm begins anew with a Dido playthrough. Dido, famous for that uh, that song with Eminem. My tea's gone cold, I'm wondering why I got out of bed at all. Wait, that's probably the wrong Dido. This is Dido of Carthage, also Dido of Phoenicia. This is a different person, I think. I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's a different person here. Uh, but we're gonna be playing that Waterworld rule set once again. If you if you've been uh, watching the channel for a while, the 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 Waterworld rule set we played as uh, Wilhelmina of the Netherlands, and uh, that rule set's pretty simple, but it does slow us down at the beginning. It's that cities have to be built on coasts. Uh, the pantheon we go for has to be the god of the sea. We have to research straight to uh, celestial navigation. That's the thing that really slows us down here. And then uh, every city has to make a harbor as the first thing it makes, uh, so long as the harbor is available to be made there. Reina and Liang are the only allowable governors because they are the ones with the sea-related sea -related abilities. So. so yeah, the thing that really slows us down is, is going to be that celestial navigation. We're playing island plates, um, and Dido is is set up for being on coasts and on islands so it's going to be hopefully beneficial and and help help us out in some way there the other thing is we've changed world age to new which means a map with more hills mountains and volcanoes we've changed rainfall to wet which means a map with more woods rainforest and marsh and we've changed sea level to high which generates more water so that's our adventure here, you know, lots of new mechanics since the last time we did Waterworld because of the Gathering Storm. But hopefully Dido with her her seafaring ways can handle it. Speaking of that, let's take a look at her abilities here. She's the founder of Carthage, can move their capital to any city with a Cawthon uh, they founded by completing a unique project in that city. That's pretty cool. Plus one trade route capacity for each government plaza building. Also cool. And also for the government plaza itself. Plus 50% production towards districts in the city with the government plaza. So, being able to move your capital around is very interesting. And it's going to tie in with um, with the Mediterranean colonies bonus here. Which is, uh, begin the game with the writing technology Eureka. So that's a 40% bonus towards writing, not actually getting writing. Uh, coastal cities founded by Phoenicia and located on the same continent as the Phoenician capital are 100% loyal. So that's how you get that tie-in. You can settle right next to people. You could then potentially move your capital up there and have a good uh, front for a war with high loyalty nearby. Um, settlers gain plus two movement and plus two sight range while embarked. Settlers ignore additional movement costs from embarking and disembarking. So they're also, you know, we're very mobile at settling. Not so much as the uh, the Maori were, but still pretty good there. We also have the Cawthon, which is a... Or Cawthon, I'm not sure exactly. It's a replacement for the harbor, plus 50% production towards naval units and settlers in the city. All wounded naval units in the city's borders heal plus 100 hit points each turn. We also have the Byroom, which is a replacement for the galley. Increased combat strength and movement. Trader units are immune to being plundered if they're within four tiles of the Byram and on a water tile. So that last part, the, the immune to plunder is an interesting mechanic. I don't know if we're going to really see it in play. But the Byram hopefully is pretty cool. We'll try to make some good use of it um, as soon as possible. So we're hoping for a good map here. Something that gives us, uh, you know, the legs we need to get this thing up and running quickly. Hopefully we can find a natural... Wonder quickly to get the bonus, uh, you know, to get us to Celestial Navigation faster. But here's our random seed. Let's go ahead and get this thing started and see what, uh, see what we get. Alright, so right off the bat, we've got uh, the writing boost here. And, man, this is a... There's a lot of workable tiles here. I kind of like this spot. We would have a uh, two production here. We'd have a two two tile here and a two two tile here to work with. I think we just I think we just go for it right here. I think this is a solid spot. We're not gonna be able to get uh, we're not gonna be able to get the boost for craftsmanship, but 
That's fine. I think the benefits we get are otherwise going to make up for it. So let's go for a scout here. And I assume we're using a 2-2 two -two tile. We are. And see, we're getting 2-2 two -two from our, our capital as well. Dude, I, I like the... I do like the canal. This... And this architecture, I think, I don't think they had this in pre, uh, pre gathering storm, but I'm, I'm a fan of what they've done with the art there. It looks pretty sweet. So we need to go for sailing, astrology, and celestial navigation. That is the path to getting celestial navigation. So start with sailing since that's the most immediately beneficial to us. And then we'll go from there. We're locked in for a good number of turns because of that, though, so something to be aware of. We do it. We look like we have nice, settleable area here. Uh, obviously, we have to stick to the coast because of our rules, but the coast so far is looking fertile. Yeah, like lots of lots of uh, jungle tiles here that that look nice for us. Like this right here would be another good city location, I think. Some bonus gold there. Probably shouldn't have moved right there since I knew there was a a mountain range, but you know. That's okay. <laughs> uh since we don't have any ability to upgrade anything around here other than this fish, I'm going to just go and build more military for now. If that makes any sense. Okay, so we're going to send him back left. Wasted a couple turns by sending him out there. But that's fine. Maybe. It's hard to tell the ramifications of losing a couple turns here and there unless they immediately cause you <laughs> problems, you know? It was a mistake, to say the least. So Cardiff is here. We were also the first people to make or meet Cardiff, so we may not need a military or anything like that. Just ba based on that sentiment, I'm wondering if we are on this island by ourselves. Because it did take us a little while to get over there. That doesn't necessarily mean we're here by ourselves, but it is an indicator that no one has seen it. So maybe, just maybe, we also get an envoy, uh, which we're not going to use to send there. We are going to go straight for a settler after this warrior. Preslov is here. Somebody has met Preslov, so that counters my previous statement. So do we send an envoy to Preslov? No, we can get the we can probably get that irrigation bonus. Hold on. Train a heavy chariot for the other one. I say we can probably get the irrigation bonus, but I don't know if that's true in this area. I don't see... There is a, a wheat source up here. And we were talking about settling in this area. Potentially, so... Maybe. Having Preslov would give us a faster military production in the city. Which would be potentially nice at some point. We'll see. Never again. Crater Lake, that's a good find for us because it boosts astronomy. Not that we we don't necessarily care about getting it, but we 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 get teched faster at the beginning and that means a lot. Vessel is large, maybe. Alright, we're going back over here to deal with this camp. Continue on your adventures, sir. So where exactly do we want to settle next? Maybe actually settling by Crater Lake would be good because we could we could get this four food source and then also get this four face source so, uh, source once we grow. So maybe I will send it down there. That'll help us get God of the Sea. So I'm gonna I'm gonna position myself to to send uh, a buddy down here I think. It is not wisdom. Discipline will help us out, and we don't need to take God King now because we're planning on getting that 
for faith. I would otherwise go straight into God King uh, to try to get God of the Sea as fast as possible. We're going for God of the Sea, and I think we'll get it just by settling down here. This will start craftsmanship. I'm going over here to deal with this camp. I'll send uh, I'll send a scout to help, I suppose. We need you to deal with this camp. So there's definitely there's definitely another civilization somewhere near Preslov. So maybe I assume they're on the same island in us as us, but that might not actually be the case. They might be like across water or something like that. That's entirely possible. Hey, another goody hut. We like goody huts. Unit has earned experience points. Fair enough. Give me that. I want that goody hut. No, get out of my way. Cardiff warrior. Please. Please. Get off of that tile. <laughs> I need that tile. You don't even know. Okay, so this this area is uh, closed off. Well, not closed off, but no one's down here. We've we've gone to the extent. I guess we could go take a look over here to make sure that nobody's just hanging out right off to the side. Hey, there's the irrigation bonus, and that's what. Uh, that's what Prezlov wanted, so now we do get a bonus for making military units in our capital. Which is cool. So we're going to be into at least normal age territory because we're going to settle down here. I'm going to settle... I think I am just going to settle on this tile even though there's not a lot of production around the area. If I settle here, there is a little bit more production, but there's less growth potential. You know what? Let's do that. Alright, we cleared that one out. So now, we're at 13 of 24. We should try to get as many points as we can. A Byream will get us, uh, it's a unique unit and it's our first C unit, so it would get us six points. That would put us at, uh, at 19 points. And then with a Source of Faith, you know, we could actually make use of God, or of, um, I can't even remember the name of it now. Monumentality. We could actually make use of Monumentality I down here. I don't believe in astrology. Okay, so that is the extent down here. Good to know. Let's take a look at... Well, we should take a look at Crater Lake once we, uh... Once we see it again in full, beautiful view. So, I'm gonna send this scout up here, but ha who, somebody who met Preslov, they might be on another... They might be on another island, actually. Based on the look of it. I'm not so sure. Let's get you healed the full. So we're gonna figure that out with our scout. Make sure there's no danger down here. Looks fine. Just gotta le lead our settler to greatness here. So yeah, this might actually just be closed off over here, or the edge of the island, basically. And if it is, then we should just work to expand in our territory here, and then we can build up a naval force and move on later. Celestial navigation is 43 turns away, so this is the slow part. Uh, we can speed it up by getting two sources, two sea resources, which we could do fish. And crab or fish and fish. Fish and fish. The other thing is 
Uh, we could go for turtles down here. Alright. Uh... Yeah, so it's looking, it's looking like we've got this to ourselves. So once we finish our, our ship here, I'm going to try to... We need to make sure... So the ship is going to get us six points. That's going to put us at 19. We're going to need five more. We're going to get a point for settling next to this. Maybe... I don't remember how many points you get for that. But we're going to get some sort of credit for that. So that's going to put us within at least, you know, two to four range. Which is not bad. But at that point, we got to... I don't know. We just got to figure it out somehow. If we meet other players with our ship, each one of those is an additional point. So there's things we can do. Just got to move quickly here. Okay. Keep it safe. Keep our settlers secure. And then, yeah, we're going to go for another settler here. I'm going to buy a monument in our capital. All right, so we're at 19, two and four. Got our buy rim. Let's see, hold on, let's move our buy rim out. Take a look at it. It's a nice looking little vessel there. What's its strength? 30 strength, four movement. This is a, this is a beast. It's increased our city defense significantly. Which is nice. We got foreign trade. Dude, I'm hyped. I am hyped. And just a reminder, we have to settle on coast. That's why I'm choosing the places I am. Because uh, otherwise I would try to get next to a river and, and the crater lake. Probably. But we're doing what we got to do to follow, follow those rules that we've set out for ourselves. Okay, so Damascus is right over here. So we're connected, but we're connected through Preslov. So we actually have a buffer here in that he'd have to He's gonna have to pass through Preslov, which means he either needs to be Susie's with him or he needs to be at war with them to come through here without uh without stuff in the future. Right now we can obviously walk through their their borders here as you can see but in the future we'll have to go across the sea or we'll have to be at war with them we're the first people to meet Laventa that means we're getting faith again so yeah we're gonna have good faith output for a golden age assuming we can hit this golden age will be very nice for us I'm hoping we get the golden age because we're four points away from it which is very close what are things we could do for it? Getting a holy site with adjacencies while not exactly what I want to do. Getting a Kothan is not likely to happen before the... The end of the... Era. I guess the other things are... Training a heavy chariot. Getting the inspiration for craftsmanship. Uh... So let's switch away from craftsmanship because that's a that's a possibility actually. That one's that one's realistic. Let's go ahead and queue up a builder. We got some tornado outbreak going on down here. It's dangerous. But we're still gonna settle this thing. Plus three error score. So that puts us one point away. We just need one point. <laughs> we can we can do this! I believe. I believe in our abilities to handle this, so. Feeling very good about it. One point is just meeting another sieve. One point is... I don't know, there's not as many ways to get a single point uh, before you get the ability to get points for researching or hitting Eurekas or whatever, but... It's not too bad, we just need to find another sieve. Which, uh, you know, we have the we have the Byram out here. The Byram has good movement. So I'm not I'm not too concerned. Alright, so we'll hold this area here just to keep it clear. 
Uh, the other thing is clearing a barbarian camp. That sounded like a barbarian camp spawning somewhere. There's one down here. Clearing a barbarian camp close to our settlement. So this one, I think, I think we've ha we've got it under control. I think we're going into golden age. I'm feeling confident about that. Maybe even cocky. Here, the dark brown Giants Causeway. He's got it. <laughs> we've done it. We got our golden age. An early golden age is not the easiest thing in the world for me, at least. Um. If you've watched plenty of my videos, you know that I don't tend to make it into a golden age in the first uh, segment. But we've managed to do that here. We still should go deal with the camp. We found a cod. Alright, so we have a point. I'm not going to spend it on them. I'd much rather try to get, you know, uh, Susie status here. I want that craftsmanship boost. So, you know, we'll figure things out. Grenada. Lots of military... Lots of military city-states here so far that we've met. I kind of... I like having more like science and culture out there because it's easier points to get that are more useful throughout the game. But military ones are not bad. Let's see. I want to take a look at my little city down here now that we've settled it right next to uh, Crater Lake. We got a little canal going through here. Crater Lake's looking, looking very serene here. Hold on. We need to... Probably buy you guys a tile here. And then... Yeah, you need to grow. <laughs> I'm I'm pleased with the gusto. You guys wanting to get that going, but but first grow, please. And then we'll we'll focus on that. Having that around is also important to us. Hence why we settled there. Did we? Hold on. Religion. We haven't established a pantheon, so maybe, actually, we will focus on getting this so we get the pantheon next turn instead of three turns from now. Just to, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go with that. But only because of that. So somebody's over here. Some city happens to be right by Grenada. We can't see who it is. We can just see glimpses of colors. And I haven't I haven't picked up on all the colors just yet. With the shift, you know, it used to be a lot easier for me to tell who everybody was. When I'd see a border, I'd be able to be like, okay, that's, that's you, probably. Sometimes I'd be wrong, because there's a lot of... Uh, there's some there were some similar colors in the past, but usually usually it was mostly correct. <laughs> That's a statement right there. Hey Rome. Oh, Gilgamesh, my favorite friend. Send him a delegation. Make friendship with him. Yeah. All right, let's try to be friends with Rome as well here. I mean, not friends, but. I meant to send you a delegation, sir. I know you're not the same type of individual as our, our buddy. So the one we saw here was Rome, and then we ran into a uh, Swolgamesh. Eh? Okay. So there's a lot of good territory here. We need to work on snagging it up, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to work on building our coffins soon. So we might be at a three city setup by the time. Uh, we have to roll into that phase of our game. Gilgamesh is happy to be friends with us. We're happy to be friends with him. And do you mind if I call you Swolgamesh, sir? God of the sea. God of the sea is what we have to take. I'm not going to look at anything else. We're just going straight for it. And now we're, we're getting this. We want to be able to grow. Uh, but we will want to work that tile as soon as possible as well.
it actually let me do that. I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> I thought it'd just be like, nah, you can't move over there. The delegation. It's definitely welcome. That's the positive aspect. Uh, so fighting barbarians is what we're doing right now. Otherwise, I would switch to the naval thing. Uh, what do you see? So you're gonna make a, a builder next. We're gonna get that. We could potentially look at buying our way to fish, or buy. Oh, we could send them down to get the turtles. We want the. We want to get the boost for craftsmanship. So keep that in mind. Bronze working boost. We're the first people to meet Mexico City. Who happen to be down here on a little island. Okay. Dude, I'm liking this I'm liking this map so far. I think it gives us it gives us the time to get set up. But we also have opportunities nearby to capture people with uh with seafaring units. So probably what we want to try to do. There's no good forward settling over here. It is all our continent, though, so if we were able to settle something near Damascus that we liked... We don't really like this area down here, so that's uh, that's not great. But we do kind of like... You know, this area up here is not bad. We could drop a city... We could ju just drop a city here and probably be happy with it. And that gets us closer to the Arab territory. We want to be aggressive with our city placement. Because we don't have to deal with loyalty on our continent. So you see how it's negative four here, but if we're on the coast, it's uh, it's non-existent there. So, so yeah, I'm going to send him up here. This is going to be our city number three. There's, there's definitely more good territory to get settled along the way. We're rolling into a golden age in ten turns. Our science and, and faith our science and culture output are miserable. So we're going to have to get that going at some point. But, you know, we have to build the coffins first. That's just how it goes. So we're, we're definitely behind as far as that stuff goes. It's uh, it's it's unfortunate, but it's the cost of playing a, uh, a water world game here. It's the cost of doing business, really. So... Unfortunate, but it is what it is. And that's what we signed up for when we went into Waterworld. We knew we've we've got we've dealt with this in the past. This is not a new experience for us. We can handle it. We know we can handle it. We know it's within our control. Alright, can we kill him without worrying about dying? Or do we need- we might need to rest for a turn. And I'd like to see what- okay, that's Kish. I was gonna say, I wanna see what city this is. Knowing where the cities are is important for trade. Alright, we're gonna have you heal a turn and then you should be able to take it next turn. So I risk- let's see, I'm just gonna keep him here to make sure that our settler can move one space forward and hopefully... Uh, at that point, we're able to continue the path along without worry. But the problem is he could move this guy up there and be a nuisance. He didn't. Okay, so we don't have to concern ourselves with that. Just continue your path, my friend. And now we definitely don't want to go in and attack it. We'll be killed by the scout in retaliation. So we still have open borders with the the Arabs, so let's see if we can sneak in here, find anything of use. Probably not. Alright, we're probably not gonna get the C bonus, or and we can even hold off on it so I can get this settler made before we switch around. But that does that does slow us down, and so maybe. You know, maybe we send this uh, this builder down here, grab turtles, sell the turtles, but also get our celestial navigation done in a more timely manner. All 
All right, I'm still gonna wait a turn because your scout is nearby. At this point, though, I'm I'm feeling comfortable that he could kill this guy and then out heal the damage from the scout. We could have also waited for the next era, potentially. Let's make sure to grab this uh, tile over here before Prezlov gets a chance at it. You know what? Let's make sure to just grab both of these tiles before Prezlov has a chance. Not my favorite use of, uh, of money here, but you don't want your, your territory being bad because of uh, other people's borders. And this gives us the nice buffer. Okay, so let's get a Byrim going here. We're sending you down. Dude, it's, it's only going to shave off a few turns. And by the spirit of the game, we have to go directly for Celestial Navigation. So I can't... I can't switch it to something else. I'm going off of the letter of the law here, guys. I'm saying we can't do that. It can't be done. Whether that's actually the case or not, I know, but or I don't know. But that's that's how I'm interpreting it. The legislature appears to say that. So that's how we're gonna enforce it. All right. So we. We've got three cities. Celestial Navigation is coming up. We will have to build harbors or coffins because of that. Which we will be happy with because they're good improvements. And we'll have early empires so we will be able to do a settler boost. So maybe we can go coffins into a settler wave into starting to build navy. If each city gives us a settler, this whole area looks a lot nicer for us. So I think that's what we're going to do next time. Uh, let's take a look at where everybody is. Obviously, we're at, we're at pitiful levels here in science. Uh, Rome is at 25. So we were at 6, just to be clear. Rome was at 25.4. The Arabs are at 17.3. And our Swolgamesh friend is at 34.5. Uh, so definitely like a ridiculous amount ahead, but not insurmountable. We can we can get this thing going. We just got to gotta focus on on uh, improving our territory or conquering nearby friends i think i think our best bet is honestly starting to focus on improvement uh get this area up to like six cities uh maybe get some campuses involved after the after the kothans are built the only one who could actually build that in a near time is going to be our capital so maybe you know the campuses might not be part of the play we don't know 5.8 culture per turn is where we are, which is also a very pitiful number. The Arabs are at 17.4, 17.7 for the Romans, 14.1 for Gilgamesh. And we don't know about the rest of the crew here. Sidon. You're going to grow into something good. Or at least, you know, you've been very useful for us with your, your faith generation. Monumentality. Monumentality is going to be the thing we choose. That's going to be... It's going to result in at least us being able to get builders uh, or maybe a, a settler. So that one's good. I'm hi I'm hyped. Take a look at our city here. Ooh. Look at the rich jungle providing us with life, nurturing us. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Like the video if you're enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.